Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back. Kabir here from Usual Cube. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create textures for your games. But before we start doing that, don't forget to click that subscribe button, and also if you want to share this video with your friends. So right now, let's go and let's start creating textures. So right now, guys, we are on a website called textures.com. So over here, we're going to decide which texture we are going to use for creating our material for our games. For example, I'm going to go here and select uh, concrete. Right now, we can see that we have a lot of galleries over here, and we can decide which photo we are going to use for creating our material. So, for example, I'm going to select here floors, and I'm going to select uh, this floor over here, for example. And I'm going to download this over here, so click download, and download it. So the next step is to download software called Materialize. So inside of this software, we can upload our images and create uh, materials which we are want to use so the first thing is to download it and you can go here in downloads and just click here to download materialize and when you download it install it and we can start creating our own materials so right now guys we are inside a materialize software so over here we can see this uh interface and on this interface the first thing what i'm gonna talk about are these seven rectangles so these seven rectangles are representing the textures uh, which we are going to use to create our material. So the next window over here, beside this seven rectangles, is saving options. So over here you can choose in which file format you want to save your textures. Also you can load your project if you are if you are uh, saved your project before. So you can load it over here with this button. The property map we are not going to use this right now. We're going to use it in future, I think. So down here we have these buttons and. This button first is called post process. So post process is basically when we finish with our full textures, with our material, you can go in post process and you can change some uh, color correction, texture corrections, and a lot of other stuff. So that is the post process. The next one is show full materials. Show full material is basically combining every certain texture from this first part over here, and it automatically creates full material and as this button set, show full material. So the next cube map is basically showing us the environment. So basically if you click here, you can click there and you can see that our environment is changing. It depends on you if you want to change, if you want to see how it looks on in other environments, that is the great option for you. So right now it's time to create our material. So let's get started. First thing, what we're going to do, we are going to import our image, which we are downloaded before from textures.com. So we're going to do that inside of this diffus map. Diffus map is basically albedo. So that is the same thing, diffus and albedo. Okay, so to open up that image, to import it, click here on this O button, which means open diffus map. And to find your texture faster, just move it from downloads to my documents as I did here and just select this this uh, picture which we are downloaded and as you can see inside materialize we are added our diffus map and as you can see it's just basically the uh, image without any height without any roughness map and a lot of other stuff so we're gonna do that we're gonna create this material realistic so right now we're going to create the height map from this diffus map and basically we can do that by clicking this button over here create and basically it automatically creates the height map from this diffus map okay over here we have this new window over here we can change some values of that height and basically you can choose from these presets here we have default we have details displace and a lot of other stuff here and basically if you want this part to be a little bit um a little bit inside so we can go and click this uh use color sample and basically select one of these colors over here inside pick color first and select some of these colors inside over here and actually what we can do, we can do something like this. We can change some height.
You can move this up if you want. You can change the contrast of this here. And if you want to set this uh, height, you can just click here this button set as a height map and go here and show full material. And basically we can see that we have our height map created. So if you want to change it, you can always go back to create here and you can always change some some values over here to make the correction of that height map. And you can click set height map again and go here and show full material. And we can see right now it's a little bit better than before. For me, these tiles look still look flat so i want to add some more details on them so we can do that by creating a normal map so again same step click here to create a normal map and over here we have some uh, values to change frequency equalizer so you have presets you can go around and uh, we can change it so basically we can do something like this we can smooth this out All right. We can blur out this uh, lines over here and just make a little bit detailed this parts around or on these tiles and when we finish with this with this uh, options here we can just click set as a normal map and go over here to preview show full material and as you can see right now we are created much detailed uh, tiles and over here we can see this um, these tiles are too shiny so we can also change that with a metallic map. Metallic map is equal to roughness map. So again, click here to create a metallic map. So create and go over here on this window. We can change some parameters. So we can blur this out. We can put this low up, this lows and this highs. We can change a little bit. Also blur size as well. And we can set as metallic and go again to show a full material. And over here, we can change the next cube map. And what is good with this program, as I said, the good thing is to, because when you go back, you can go back and you can change, you can always change these uh, parameters to make it uh, better. This material is still too shiny, but I think we can change it or we can fix it with this uh, three maps, which we need to create. So again, smoothness map, create that smoothness map and you can always go and uh, do everything what you want. Something like that, add a smoothness. Okay, we can go in edge map and we can create an edge map. So we can add this, uh, this place here. And as you can see right now with this uh, 
edge map and smoothness map this uh, metallic map is going to be uh, better because it's not too shiny as before and one last thing which we are going to do is to add AO map or ambient occlusion map so create it over here and we can change depth of that we can change power and set ambient inclusion map and go over here show full material we can go back and change some parameters here so i'm gonna move this ao bias and this power a little bit depth and set this as a new ambient occlusion map and show our tiles and right now as you can see our tiles are looks really really cool And we can change the environment to see how it looks on in other environments. And that is it for our material settings. And the last thing guys is to save these textures. So the first thing is to set a file format. So for example, I'm gonna select JPEG here and I'm gonna click here to save project and go in, for example, my pictures, and over here in textures, I'm gonna select textures, and I'm gonna say tiles. And click select here, and they are saved. And you can see over here, we have our file from materialize, and we have all our materials prepared for our 3D model. Okay guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you learn how to create your own free materials. So if you learned something from this tutorial, share with your friends, like this video. If you don't like it, click that dislike button. Uh, Cabra here from Visual Cube, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.